Hello, this is Lord Og, and I am here to do my uh, crystal ar and armor guide, as I said I would. I'm not going to go through all the explanation of crystals again. I've already done a, a guide on that. I will put a link in this video to take you there. So I'm just going to assume that you've watched that guide and you know what I'm talking about. So let's get started because I have things a lot to do. There's not enough hours in the day. So let's get started. Here is my main character again. We are still in New Ashos. It's in my use before on the crystal guide. And we're going to start by showing you what, how to level up a uh, weapon. Now, a weapon starts basically, it's different from a, a crystal in the fact that you don't join two weapons together to make a better weapon. You have to um, craft. And you do that by right clicking any weapon, anything, but with this it's a weapon, go to craft. And now here you can see two options. There is the weapon. If you go to dismantle, it tells you you will get one wood and two steel. And that will dismantle the weapon and the one wood and two steel will go in your inventory. Or you can upgrade, which is here. And for that, it will take one wood and two steel. They will come out of your inventory. You get you get these things by dismantling. So when you pick swords up in battle, if you don't need them and you've got enough money, you don't need to sell them, then dismantle them. They will then go into your inventory here. Down here, look, where I've got chain mail, leather, wool. See, there's your steel. So that's where dismantled materials go. Oh, and if you've got something like a staff, if it's something like a staff, then a staff will usually come with a essence, like a fire essence for fire staff, water essence for water staff. You get the idea. Okay, so let's get to crafting quickly. Now, this is a weapon I have. I'm going to right click it. Now, as you can see, I've got a stone in with it. It's a plus um, 75 lightning stone. But uh, it has, uh, this has plus seven anyway, uh, this axe to take it up to 82. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna craft it even more, we're gonna take it higher. So as you can see, let me just swap, swip, swap, that's it, to my armor clad man. Now here you see, I have a lightning of 70, actually the stone is a lightning of 75. But this has got um, plus seven on it, uh, extra bonus on it. So it's a, actually a lightning of 82 that goes on the axe. So if I right click it, I can craft. And it tells you if I do go to upgrade, what will happen. It will have five on two piercing damage, five on two bludgeoning damage. And the star down here will go to a plus well, an upgrade two axe. So it's a level 15 axe, but it's a plus two upgrade. So click yes. That has now gone up a level. So now I'm going to do it again. And this time I'll get plus five on them two. And I'll get plus one, plus one, and plus one. And it'll go up to an upgrade three. Now I need to get that, if I can show you something, to an upgrade five. So I'm going to do it again. As you can see, this has gone up. It was one and two. Now it's two and four. You will see it go up again. In a second, now it's three and six. Three wood, six steel to go up. Now I need to take it to one more. It'll go up to five. We'll get all these added on still. And it's getting a lot better. Okay, now we're at level five. Well, we're at upgrade level five. Now this is where things get interesting because if i when i go up to upgrade six can you see this well you can i'm going to show you can you see this gem here well that will go to two slots instead of just one where i've got my plus 75 lightning i'll now have two so i'm going to click yes on that and there you go i have a second slot opened up now I can do most anything there. I can add a skill crystal in. I can add a 
well I'll explain ceiling crystals in a second I can add another attack it has to be lightning if I have another lightning I can't mix I can't put make it have fire lightning and water or something like that I've got lightning on so I can put another lightning on but I don't want to do that yet or I can put an attribute stone on to make it better and all these like to just clean conjunction with that one second okay now but what I will do instead is show you what ceiling crystals do now here I have a pair of nomad leggings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft these nomad, le mod nomad le leggings <laughs> try saying that when you're drunk I'm going to craft these nomad leggings up to six because I'm going to show you what a ceiling crystal does now a lot of people seem to get confused with ceiling crystals I did myself so hopefully I'll be able to show you in a second they should take it up to six no that's five sorry one more there you go so it's got two now now you need to have weapon or armor with two slots it doesn't count a ceiling crystal cannot be used on um, accessories necklace uh, rings things like that you cannot use it on that it can only be used on weapons and armor so let's say I put um, I don't know uh, endurance six on my leggings that's put my of course overall endurance up and you can see now that I have endurance six at the bottom so let's say on the other crystal on the other slot I add a ceiling crystal now they all do different percentages 30 50 100 so let's say I put 100 in look at what it says it increases additional attributes by 100% and seals the equipment that basically means I cannot do anything with this piece of equipment anymore I cannot put new I can't take stone uh, crystals out and put other crystals in I cannot upgrade it any further it's just stuck at this it will stay here so but let's say I put one on and remember endurance plus six that stone is so we put one on and it turns into it tells you here once the crystal is sealed you will be unable to make further changes to the item continue yes now that still says endurance plus six but look at what my leggings say they now say endurance plus 12 because it goes up by 100 percent which basically means it doubles the crisp the whatever's on which means it's now a plus a plus 12 so of course that helps a lot by doing that but you cannot do anything else with it look if I try and tell that off this item cannot be altered due to fusion with ceiling crystal can't do it can't take that out there's nothing you can do upgrade it'll let oh it does let you upgrade still I didn't know that sorry my mistake you see I'm not perfect can't be helped anyway so you can still upgrade but you just cannot um, take the crystals out so you're stuck with them I'm guessing you can still paint them any color you want that won't make a difference really uh, yes there you go so you can change them oh, why did they go back to green oh well never mind but as you can see they're strong in color they're kind of faded out so it's already telling you there that that's oh no they have got red so all right then okay now that works on anything even though it's, it says in its description that it does um, attributes additional attributes by 110 it actually works on anything so for instance if I was to put a well I thought call some microstores excuse me if I was to put say trapper 2 onto a piece of onto a piece of armor I would go to it would go to trapper 4 my, in my attributes in, in my skills well you know what it says on the piece of armor or weapon I should say it'll go to four which means it counts as I've already got a level four trapper skill so it'll work on anything summon uh, whatever any of these are you can put anyone up 
Water mastery, you want to put someone up a bit faster, you can do. Sneak, make it better. Lock picking, you get longer. You know, you can put an attribute crystal on, but remember, these sealing crystals aren't. But remember, it seals the item. You cannot take the things off again. You cannot take the crystals off. It keeps them. I will show you one more time with the, the axe that I put up. So if I right click the axe and go to craft, as you can see, it's got a 75 crystal it's got 75 crystal on for lightning i'm going to put in a ceiling crystal of 100 and yes it still says 75 there but the way it says here now it's on 159 because as you know 275s there's 150 and now we get a bonus of nine and there we are we have now sealed it up to 159 that's actually not bad to have that on top of attack on your weapon but you could imagine if you had something else because you can have more stones i do not know what the maximum level is you can take a weapon i've had one up to 11. i've had one up to like um upgrade level 11 so i don't know how far it goes but at some points you do get another you will get another slot to put another another crystal in so you don't think you only get two slots you can get more you can get three and four and that so if you seal a weapon too early you're stuck with it you know you're stuck with how it is so basically i think we've covered everything now so to recap quickly you can upgrade oh no sorry there is something you need to know skills the skills that make it so you can upgrade your weapons and armor they are here right you need, now remember this, this is important, you need to have your metallurgy up to 10. It has to be up to full. Why? Because look at this. Armor reinforcement and weapon reinforcement. You can't see this. You, you won't see this because I've already done it. I've already put it up to 10. But when that was less than 10, it tells you that you can only start putting these, you can only start putting these up. These are stuck at, at 1. You can't do anything with them. And you can only start putting them up when metallurgy gets to 10. So you have to put metallurgy up to 10 to start putting your armor reinforcement and your weapon forging any higher. By putting your weapon forging higher, that's how you can craft and craft your weapons up to a, up to a higher level. You know, so that you can upgrade level, I should say. So you can have an upgrade level 1, upgrade level 2, so on, so on. You have to put weapon forging and armor reinforcement up. To do that uh, i believe that's it now i don't think there's anything else to tell you i'm do i'll do it again like i did last time a very quick recap so on weapons you can only put you can't put resistance crystal on weapons you can only put attribute attribute crystals damage crystals and skill crystals oh and ceiling crystals of course and the alive ones which are for, for carry weight the only ones you can't put on a see uh, resistance crystals on armor you can put everything on except damage crystals and on um, attribute and on accessories you cannot put attack or resistance crystals on them so only yellow ones green attribute skills or these here so that's about it you put them on your upgrade your weapon by putting your metallurgy up to 10 and then putting up your armor and weapon upgrading abilities uh, when it gets to upgrade level 6, you will get an extra crystal slot, which you can either use by just putting a crystal in, or you can actually put a um, ceiling crystal in, and that will, do, and depending on what percentage it is, I put 100 ones in. If you put a 100 in, it will double whatever stone you have in. It will double it from whatever it is, and it will double it up to whatever it will become. So if it's a 2, you will get a 4, a 75, you'll get a 150. That is how it works. Uh, I think that's all you need to know. If you have any more questions, please write them in the comments and I will answer them if I am able. So I'm going to go get some sleep. So take care of yourselves and goodbye for now, my friends.